Well, what do you mean what happened? Look at my dress. I, I tried to walk upstairs in this dress. That's what happened. That's Jennifer Lawrence talking about uh, when she stumbled as she walked up to receive her Best Actress Oscar last night. She caught it on a piece of material, and who can blame her? Look at the length of that thing. The 2013 Academy Awards are officially in the history books. It was a night of triumph, a few tears, and as you saw, at least one little tumble there by one of the Oscar winners. Why don't they have people positioned there, Helping stationed her. there to help those I know. gorgeous... Well, they, and they wax those stairs. They're all slick. Yeah, yeah. They sh they'll rethink that probably. <laughs> Here's ABC's Craig Gropper. He has some other wonderful moments from the show that left people talking. And the Oscar goes to... Argo. It was Argo ending up on top. Ben Affleck was thrilled to win and thrilled the first lady opened the envelope. The fact that it was the first lady was an enormous honor and the fact that she clearly was surrounded herself by uh, servicemen and women was, um, you know, special. Daniel Day-Lewis earned a record third because Best Actor Oscar for his portrayal of the 16th president in Lincoln. The Best Actress trophy went to Silver Linings Playbook's Jennifer Lawrence. She had trouble making it to the stage. She's still getting accustomed to the limelight. I hope you got a fan here. <laughs> As expected, Les Miserables' Anne Hathaway won for Supporting Actress, while the Supporting Actor Oscar went to Christoph Waltz for his work in Django Unchained. Life of Pi received the most awards, four, including one for director Ang Lee. Thank you, movie god. The show featured a James Bond tribute. A celebration of movie music with past Oscar winners like Jennifer Hudson and first time host Seth MacFarlane. And the, way you the reviews on MacFarlane's performance are wide ranging. What may matter most is the ratings, and early indications show they are up. In Hollywood, I'm Craig Gropper for ABC News.